Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with a brand new series. We are chasing the dream. We are going to go for the There Is No Spoon uh, achievement. Yes, so this achievement is uh, finish the game, which is launch a rocket within 8 hours. And uh, if you've seen any of my other playthroughs, I think, uh, I think we launched a rocket in like or 50 hours, I don't even remember the first, it must have been about 50 hours the, uh, our very first playthrough and uh, the Megabase, I'm not sure when we actually launched the rocket but the Megabase playthrough went for about 80 hours um, yeah so it's uh, definitely, definitely going to need a bit of speed and what we are going to do in this series, it's going to consist of two parts the first part, uh, we are here and where is here? Well, here is Creative Mod. And uh, Creative Mod, very, very useful. If you've never used it, it's, um, I mean, it's very similar to uh, uh, to Free Play. Um, if you go in, uh, sorry, Sandbox mode, uh, in that you can just kind of play stuff around. There's, I've disabled enemies. There's um, all these extra things. And the main things to know are um, some of these chests, which uh, if I grab one of these, actually we've got, we've got some here. Uh, one of these chests uh, has every item in the game. You put down two in there and there's the rest of the items. So these are every single item in the game and if you take something out of there it just replenishes. Um, a few other nice things are uh, if you place something down and deconstruct it, it just, just destroys it. It doesn't go back in your inventory. Um, I got these logistics setups uh, which will automatically fill without any need of bots. It's basically just a great sandbox for doing what we're going to do in this first half which is build up a blueprint library. So this library will consist of a whole heap of uh, blueprints for things like uh, a starting mall, uh, all our science packs, uh, production, all these things. and yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to help us along the way. And obviously, we don't start with robots. We're going for a vanilla playthrough, so no nanobots, no tiny start, uh, which are mods which give you early robots. Um, so even though we're placing these blu blueprints, we've still got to manually create them. Uh, the time saver is is that we know the configuration and we've just got to uh, basically paste down the items as we create them. So. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to calculate ratios as you go. You don't really need to think too hard uh, about what you need to do um, to to create whatever item you're going to go. And the things we're going to look at, uh, we'll start with uh, some sort of materials. So obviously smelting. Everyone knows how to build a smelting stack these days. Uh, if not, you'll, you'll be in for some luck because we'll run through that. Um, not just a regular smelting stack, but steel smelting as well, which is a little bit more more complex. Uh, oil refining, which uh, I can't remember what version I'm playing on, um, but oil refining is undergoing a change, and uh, you'll see here at the moment uh, this basic oil refining has two inputs for crude oil, and then all the outputs. There is a uh, one of the Friday uh, Factorio facts. Uh, whatever they're called on the, on the Factorio website listed that they're changing uh, oil processing. So basic oil processing is only going to take in uh, crude oil here because this goes to, uh, oops, we go to advanced processing, you see that's the water one. So instead of having to remember that that is the water one, uh, the, the new basic oil processing uh, only takes crude oil in on this put and there's no input here at all. And more importantly, what it does is it's going to only produce petroleum, uh, which I've got very mixed feelings about. There are, um, it's generally a good change for the early game because there's not a whole lot of use for heavy oil and uh, light oil other than lubricant and, um, and solid fuel. So not having those in the game, and we don't need to then do any sort of... Uh, uh, storage of these heavy and light oils to keep the petroleum flowing, which is great. Um, and then that means it's not until you get uh, advanced processing, 
that you can actually um, that you can actually get access to light and heavy oil, uh, which is needed for lubricant, which I believe is needed for electric engines. Uh, it's one of the engines needs it, and that actually feeds into robots. So it actually delays uh, robots a little bit. Uh, let's have a look. engines. Yes, there we go. Electric engines, which feed into flying robot frames. So um, bots will now be hidden behind uh, advanced oil processing, which honestly is is not an issue because um, one of the things to remember, uh, if we can navigate our way through this all, let's go back. Um, now I need to find I need to find me some bots. It's the first thing from Blue Science, uh, and obviously it is not. Let's just do a search. Uh, all right, so hidden behind Blue Science currently is uh, Robo Personal Robo Ports. Uh, where are the robots? Robots, robots, robots. Uh, there's all the upgrades. What am I? Uh, why am I? Why am I bothering with this? Let's just go in here. Uh, there we go. Construction robots. Uh, in fact, well, there you go. It's not even not even behind blue science. Um, yes. Yeah, so construction robots currently sitting in just green and red, um, and that is now going to yeah. Sorry, that is now going to be stuck behind blue science because uh, blue science is what unlocks advanced oil processing. There we go. That's it. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. Um, yes, yeah, so instead of being able to get some early robots and uh, roboports, oh, it's the personal roboport there, it's hidden behind blue science. Um, rather than be able to get some early robots, you will now have to get to uh, advanced all processing. Yeah, but of course, that is only in the future. So, fingers crossed, we're not going to get stuffed up halfway through this playthrough and uh, all our blueprints are going to be wrong. Um, which is a bit of a worry, it could happen, uh, and if that happens I think we can probably adjust on the fly because it's only going to be uh, it's only going to be our basic oil processing that will change, it'll actually just make it easier, so fingers crossed that won't be an issue. Um, there are some other changes as to uh, I think rocket, uh, sorry, flame flamethrowers only need uh, petroleum to make uh, flamethrower fuel, which we're not going to use in this playthrough. I honestly never use flamethrowers. I'm sure there's a place for them, but um, but it's not going to be in this playthrough. So, oh look, I mean, I have just rambled on for uh, for a fair few minutes there. So we might as well have a look what we are going to be doing here. And uh, I think one of the first things now, I just want to sort of. Uh, theorize how our playthrough is going to go and uh, the first thing that we really want to get is a uh, power up and running. So our power, uh, we are going to need a blueprint for that and what we're going to put down is, I oh, remember where such a thing is, here we go, uh, boilers and steam engines, excellent, all right. So we're going to need we're going to need some of that. We're going to need some of those. We're going to need some of those, and we're also going to need uh, some burner inserters is what we'll be using. And where do these? I thought they sat somewhere around here. Here we go. There we go. All right. Uh, some burner inserters. So our first blueprint, and uh, we might as well have a new blueprint book for this. Uh, there we go. All right. We are going to call this the no spoon book. Excellent. All right. Um, so this is going to have a input of uh, of coal coming in, and uh, one of the reasons why we're in creative mode, by the way, is uh, that I did not mention is, is these things a matter source. Uh, there we go. All right. So this just creates stuff. Um, if I want this to uh, let's just leave those settings. Sure. Uh, I want this to create coal. And there we go. It's just creating coal and more coal on the other side. Beautiful. Look at that. Um, and this just lets us test out our things, which we, we don't need to do right now, but um, we are going to set this up. All right. 
So this is uh, this is the arrangement that I like to do with uh, with these guys. Uh, a stack of four like that, and then it is separated by some pipe. Let's put some pipe down here, and uh, like that. And then if we just copy that, it's repeatable. Now the reason why we have this gap here is for the power poles. Um, so we want our power poles here to cover both of these. And we can do that just running it along here like that. Uh, now, if, you, if you've if you seen my early game ratios video, you'll know what numbers we're looking at here. Um, but just as a quick show here, um, these uh, you produce like a... A boiler can produce 1.8 megawatts of steam energy and each steam engine converts uh, 900 kilowatts of steam energy into 900 kilowatts of power so uh, that's where we get the ratio of two steam engines to a boiler and uh, each of these uh, can support uh, 20 um, uh, sorry a one offshore pump can support 20 of these 20 of these, so 10, 10 boilers. Alright, um, I am confusing myself there. Uh, yep, where are we? Where are we? There we go, yeah. So we can see our fluid consumption uh, is 30 a second for each of these. And yeah, you can see it on the sort of the very bottom of the info panel. Fluid consumption 30 per second. And uh, a. Um, a offshore pump can produce 1200 a second so 1200 divided by 30 uh, gives us what uh, 40 there you go okay so it's 40 of these and 20 of these there we go. ah yes so yeah yeah I'm, I'm confusing myself but there we go that's eight uh, so that is 10 and what we will do is we'll put another one on the other side all right and that then, can't walk through it, uh, that then is our full 20 boiler stack. Uh, what we want to do is have burner inserters uh, here and here, and we'll just uh, copy that up. Awesome, all right. So there we go, that's, uh, that's the setup that we're going to have for our boilers, and then we see these will come down to a, uh, a water supply here. Um, we can extend this out, obviously, to have uh, further 10 up and another 10 up here and then have two water, but uh, this is just a little bit more, I, I, I like it, it's a little more compact. All right, uh, so after all that posturing, we want to create this into a blueprint. Uh, and of course, uh, let me get the blueprint. We don't want our little creative mod item in there. Okay, so this is our first blueprint, and this is boilers. Uh, let's just call it power, because uh, we're only going to run steam, I think. Uh, there is also another achievement that we'll get. Uh, crap, did I just lose it? Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, there is another achievement we can get uh, for not using any solar, uh, so we'll we'll try for that as well. Okay, so boilers. Uh, no, it's calling it power. Oh gosh, I confused myself already. Let's uh, let's do that setup there. Okay, that's our power. And uh, what we want to do is add it to our there is no spoon setup. Okay, so that is the first thing we'll be doing. This power. All right. Uh, once we've got power going, we'll want to have. Uh, let's clear all this. So we are now going to want to do some, uh, yes, some furnaces. We're going to do a smelter setup, uh, and we are going to need lots of belts and lots of inserters for that. All right, uh, let's go belts. Maybe some power poles. Sorry, inserters, power poles, belts. Okay, so. Generally speaking, we'll have an output at the top. We'll have an input there, and here we go. Simple. Uh, keep that going. All right. Swing that around and pop that like that. Okay. 
And then we just need to repeat that multiple times. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And uh, again, if you want to find out about the ratios for this, uh, you can uh, have a look at my uh, my early game video, my early game ratios video on the channel, and it'll tell you why I have put 24 here. Um, but that suffice to say that is a, a good number. All right, so um, power for this, uh, we will start it here and do that and that. Uh, yep, that, that, that. All right, just making sure I cover everything, uh, and we should probably, once I've put this on, I'll, uh, I'll put in a uh, cheat power thing that you get with Creative Mod, and we'll, uh, we'll just make sure that it is working. All right. There we go. Uh, everything is powered. Beautiful. All right. Um, you know, honestly, let's just leave that in there so we don't get the flashing. Okay, so uh, here what we want to do is have uh, our splitters, our splitters doing this, so that we have uh, one side doing one side doing uh, coal, and the other side our uh, our input of whatever ore we are doing iron or copper. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, what we need to do also is we want to do this so that we can have uh, our coal coming in. Uh, and we need. So I'm using a. I really should set my. Okay, okay. so that is that is what we want. Um, and then this way, uh, we can just copy that and it lines up so we can have a few of these together and we get um, we get coal in in here uh, if we need it coming in from the other side then we can we can just switch this around uh, pretty easily and then during the game we'll uh, we'll just copy it in all right uh, so this is our new blueprint we don't, need, we don't need that we don't need that all right so this is our standard smelting blueprint um, alright. Oh, oops, I did not do the blueprint. Blueprint, there we go. Uh, this is stone smelting. Alright. Now, we can probably just have that as our icon. Stone smelting. And export to blueprint library. Alright. Stone smelting it is. Let's pop that now. No spoon. All right. So now we have uh, smelting. We might as well uh, might as well upgrade this. And I wonder. I wonder if I can use the upgrade planner here. Uh, I can, but for some reason, I don't have. Uh, Okay, I thought it might have happened automatically in here, but uh, I'm just going to do something a little bit crazy here. Uh, okay, let's pop a couple of these down. Let's get a super robo port. Yep, that's right, super robo port. Um, one of these and a super substation, which will actually no, let's not use a super substation. Um, that will make our life a little more difficult. Uh, these are all awesome little creative mod tools that allow you to uh, play around quite nicely uh, with this. Uh, what I'm going to do is that, and then you can have super construction blocks. There we go. Uh, what are you doing? What are we doing? Uh, because we have no, we have no chest for them to drop it off. Uh, void storage chest. So this will mean they'll come back here and they'll just ditch it. Alright, beautiful. Um, these are super construction robots, which as you can see are super fast. There are super logistics robots as well, which are also super fast and they stack in a thousand. That's very, very handy. Okay. Um, 
One thing I see, however, is that uh, we have upgraded to blue uh, blue inserters, so we'll put those back to regular inserters. There we go. Thank you, super fast construction bots. Okay. Uh, so now we have our setup with perfect. Our setup with uh, steel furnaces and red belts, and it's exactly the same numbers. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's blueprint that, and let's call this steel smelting. And uh, I'm not sure if we actually use this one because uh, chances are we're just going to upgrade uh, the existing one, but uh, we'll pop this in anyway. And I probably didn't hit enter on that uh, title, did I? Nope. No, I did not. Okay. Uh, can I not? Can I not change that? Oh, well. let's uh, let's delete it then. All right. Now let's get rid of that and. Still smelting. There we go. Alright. Wonderful. Uh, still smelting. Export to a blueprint library. And pop that in. There is no spoon. Alright. So now we've got boilers, steel smelting, stone smelting. Um, as far as materials go, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and I think what we'll want to do is also have a steel. Now... Steel smelting is uh, a little bit different in that uh, we have the the stone comes in, uh, sorry, the iron ore comes in up here, um, and then you want to make that into iron plates, which then turns into uh, steel up here. So uh, what we actually want is we want to look at the first. Uh, The first 24, yep, so that is halfway there. Uh, in fact, what I should have just done is that. And that's 26, that's 24 there. Okay, so let's cut those and let's just move them up there for now. Because uh, what we want to do is a number of things. First off, um, we want to have uh, our split belts disappearing. Um, so these. Uh, and I really should be doing this on. Uh, really should be doing this on our stone smith one. There we go. Because uh, we'll, we'll probably be. We won't be out of steel. We certainly won't have steel smelters before we actually are smelting steel. That's uh, that is a little bit silly. All right. Um, okay. So what we need to do here is we only want to let through the. Uh, output, sorry, output filter is going to be uh, coal. That's right, because we don't want any iron ore coming in. Uh, output left is coal. There we go. And uh, over here we will go up right is coal. Uh, so this way the coal continues going. Uh, now what we want to do though is we want to get uh, so our coal is on the inside we actually want it to be on the outside I don't want to go wide with this um, okay so this is going to have iron plates and we want the iron plates to also go on one way. Uh, I can see immediately that's going to be too low because we don't want it catching up to here which will be outputting iron plates. Uh, sorry, iron ore. Um, okay, so if this is on the outside and this is on the inside Ooh, ooh, that actually means... Alright, I believe this will actually work. Uh, and you know what? We are we are actually going to test this because 
I do want to see whether this works. All right. Uh, and how we test that is with our little matter generators. Okay. Uh, matter source. We'll have one there. We'll have one there. Now we're going to need to power this. There we go. Okay. So you are going to be producing iron ore. And you are producing coal. Alright. And the main thing we need to check is uh, is whether the up here we get iron plates and coal uh, together. Alright, I'm also looking, we can actually drop this down one and make this, this whole thing uh, one tile shorter, which I think I'll do, just so it looks a bit a little bit more compact. Uh, okay, so first off we have our iron plates on the outside, which is great, because we do have coal here on the inside. Coal comes up on the inside, and we're away. Ah, that is, that is delightful. Alright. Um, we do need to maintain our power grid. And all of a sudden we are producing steel. Okay, I'm gonna, I love this. Um, of course, uh, one thing to remember is uh, steel takes five iron, five iron plates, I believe it is. Uh, where are we? Uh, steel, yes, so five iron plates. Uh, it takes five times as long as an iron plate, so each one of these can supply this directly like this. Um, but what this means is we have half a belt of iron plates here, so we're actually getting one-fifth of half a belt out here. Uh, so you would need a fair few of these to actually get a full belt of steel. Luckily, luckily steel is not that required. Um, okay, so I'm very happy with that. Let's uh, let us do what I said I was going to do and move this whole thing down one. Down one. Why can't I do that? Uh, I believe I can. And what we just okay, let's uh, let's ditch that, um, and we'll there we go. That's what I need to get rid of, like that. Beautiful. All right, uh, I love it. I think that's quite neat. Um, arguably, we could have saved a bit of space here, couldn't we? Um, I think it's too late. We've we've done the blueprints for the other ones. We're just gonna we're gonna leave that. A little bit of extra space, and that's probably one of the biggest tips uh, that I come across from my uh, my Megabase series, uh, my first Factorio Megabase, is that uh, space actually isn't that important. Like saving this one tile here makes it look a bit more neater, uh, but at the end at the end game, like uh, your base is basically uh, covering this huge area, and the little bits of space that you use early on is. Uh, is kind of pointless. Uh, if you're amazed at how big this map is, there's in creative mode there is a super radar too. Um, that yeah, just is just massive and provides vision everywhere. So yeah, just uh, helpful if you want to be making a big base sort of outline. Anyway, enough talk. Let's uh, let's blueprint this bad boy. All right, we don't want that. Uh, we don't want those matter generators. Uh, we can get rid of that, and probably don't need so many of these. All right. Uh, so this is going to be uh, stone smelting the steel. So what we are going to do is put in some picture of steel. There we go. All right. Stone smelting steel done. Export. Did not save the name, it never does for some reason. Smetling. Stone smelting steel. Alright. Wonderful. Let's move that into our no spoon. Alright. I might uh, I might think about changing some of these. Uh, can't actually change the image of that, that's alright. Um, 
I might have uh, maybe a no spoon. Actually, I don't think you can have blueprint books in a blueprint book. No. Uh, which is fine. Alright, so we might have a. Uh, this might be. No spoon materials. Materials? Alright, materials. There we go. Uh, so this will be our materials, which is uh, pretty handy. Alright. And uh, alright, that's that's half hour. Uh, I'm gonna stick, try and stick these episodes to half an hour uh, because we'll be playing in real time. There'll be uh, there'll be no off camera work uh, for this playthrough because we are playing to the clock. I mean, uh, with an eight hour time limit, uh, thirty minute episodes at most. That's sixteen episodes. If we get it the first time, sixteen episodes. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a fairly short series and. Uh, I've envisaged only sort of maybe, uh, I don't know, half a dozen of these episodes because uh, all we need to do for materials, uh, we'll want to look at maybe some oil processing uh, blueprints and uh, and science packs and a mall. And I think a mall is probably going to be uh, the, bigger, the bigger thing. We'll have an early game mall and... Uh, uh, I'll probably I'll probably just use the Casper Sky more honestly for uh, for further down the track. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything. I'd love to hear your comments below, uh, your thoughts on this. Um, I don't want to take credit for this setup. I did see a um, uh, another video. I think it was by Zisto, if that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry if I've got it wrong. Um, and he was the one. or well, he was the first one I saw that had this idea of doing up a set of blueprints beforehand so you're not wasting time trying to figure out configurations um, yeah and also I'll make all these blueprints available uh, at the end of the first part of the series so once we've made all the blueprints I'll uh, I'll add the blueprint strings down into the descriptions and if you're watching this in the future you'll probably already see it there but if you're watching this as we go you'll have to wait uh, until we get all the blueprints up and running uh, to get access to them and uh, as always if you've got any ideas on what I can do to uh, to make the playthrough a little bit quicker any ways that we can speed it up I'd love to hear them in the comments below otherwise just watch this space and we will push forward to a vanilla playthrough solo there is no spoon thanks for watching and see you tomorrow